Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Done the chief building action. Ah, cut that down to nine seconds. <laughs> okay. I uh it got too late last night before I got these parts all ready. Um there was just a lot to do. And uh, I got them all ready. I got all my cloth cut. And I am ready to roll in the AM. Yeah, believe it or not, y'all getting some early morning Bob TV today. But what I did is this my same oil, I taped all my edges up. Okay, sprayed my mold release. After I waxed it all up real good. Waxed it all up, put my tape edge on. Okay. Sprayed my part off, let it dry, and uh, spray my primer. Now I'm ready for my cloth. I got all my cloth cut, I got all my peel plot cut, got my resin ready to go. I'm going to use my Old Faithful 2108 I get from Associated Industries. This is clear resin, they call it clear resin. But you got to make sure and tell them epoxy. Uh, they sell polyester there too, people. And I uh, had a couple people ask me about that uh, resin they sell in Walmart and stuff. How come it's so much cheaper? That is polyester, people. You crack that thing open, your wife's going to be on you. You'll stink up the neighborhood. That stuff will kill you, people. Honestly, that stuff is bad news. This epoxy, people say, well, how come you don't use a respirator? Shoot, this stuff don't even put off no odor at all. I can't even smell it. A five-minute epoxy puts off more odor than this. This is basically what I do with this big old jug. Got to make it more manageable. Easier to work with. Take it and flip it up like that. Take my cuff. Just pours it straight in from his five gallon jug into his mixing cup, you know. But uh, that's the way Butch likes to do it. No right and no wrong way. I just uh, like to do it like this. Like this. This ain't my mixing cup. This is just what I'm going to pour into. Man, dang cold front blew in last night. It's cold. I turned the heater off to the shop at night. So it takes it a while to get warmed up in here in the morning. Unless I got resin setting up. Then I'll leave the heater on. Okay, we ain't gonna need a whole lot of resin. I'm just gonna mix up.
Try this at home, kiddos. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> Just heat this resin up just a frickin'. You gotta get it to where it'll soak, otherwise it won't soak into that cloth. You ever do that experiment in science class where you boiled water in a plastic container? That's what I'm doing here. That's good. I just had to thin it just a frick. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is that kind of worked out pretty good like in that last video where I'll just start out each step showing you guys and I'll work it on through because I can't do it all in 10 minutes. But uh, this is some bagging material. A friend of mine gave it to me a long time ago. And that's what I'm going to use for this. I'm just going to make a big bag. This is pretty cool. It's just it's sealed up on the ends, and you did. It's really made for wings, I think. That's what they used to do. So I'm going to make me a big old bag, and see you just seal up the ends with this stuff here. You fold it in half. You fold it over this white stuff and snap it in place, and that seals up the ends. So you we don't need no clay. So I'm just going to make a big bag, and these bags are reusable, so I'm just going to make a big bag big enough to put all these parts in, and then I'll be able to reuse it. Alright. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to paint me some resin on this part. I ain't going to need my stuff in these corners. I'm going to show you why. So just stay tuned to the next video. I'm going to teach you guys how to do this vacuum bagging. It ain't hard. two layers of four ounce then a layer of foam I made me a pattern I cut them out on the pattern so I can just set this back edge in place just made a pattern out of some paper but I don't like to trim this back edge. If I could lay my glass in there and not have to trim it, you'd be on a happy camper. 